Hey, no one heard again, and the fifth part of the creating FPS with uh, FPS prototype with uh, play canvas. So let's open up uh, the project we left it off before. Uh, so in this um, part, which may well be the final part actually, unless we do some more tidying up, we'll just go briefly over what we did last time. We created the health, the depleting health. So I think what we'll probably do is uh, I'll first just add a few more enemies, maybe do some movement script updates, and also I think the first thing we'll do probably is create a main menu, which is a different scene, which is like a reset screen, uh, reset game screens screen as well, because we're having some issues with the gun firing last time too. So let's create a new scene first. We we'll call it menu. Just like a menu or something. So we want to get rid of this because we don't need these uh, shapes here, really. We just need a screen camera. We want to attach a user interface, a 2D user interface. Uh, 2D screen. Okay, we want to add a uh, button. Change the text. So that should be right in the center of the minute. I'm going to call it add the text play. Uh, play FPS game. Okay, it's already got it. Yep, it's got the font now. Goes showing there. Good. And then I want to make that button a bit bigger. It's a bit small at the minute. So the button is not big enough for the text. You can see there the, the uh, UI interface. 200 here. I'm going to change the text color to black. So, we can play FPS game. Uh, we can also probably add an image in the background if we wanted to. So, add an edge element. Uh, I'll choose just a random image, I think. Just to show that you can do it. It'll look like substance or something. Yeah. Texture. Substance. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to make that bigger, maybe so it covers the screen, definitely. Doesn't. Uh, I'm not really concerned about it looking pretty, I just want to show you that you can do that. Let's just see what that looks like. Basically, just wanted to say it's got a background texture and then the button. Yeah, okay, you can't see the button. I thought that might happen. The background texture is okay because we can see that, but I'm not quite sure where the button is. There we go. So just put it, nest it underneath the image. Okay, that's that should fix that now. Yeah. Good. So it's not clickable yet because I haven't created any. Maybe I'll just put. Uh, we'll also improve it by putting new entity and just uh, like a title at the top. So we'll go text element. Mm -hmm. FPS game. Make the text bigger. 
PC maybe. Too small, minimum size 80. Oh, 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 I can just check it on there. Looks a bit weird, but... So remember from the last tutorial that when we died, there was that error. So the main reason I'm actually doing this is, well, we, we need some sort of menu anyway, but it's also because, um, well, it's worth sharing how to do design sort of menu but also because when you die, I want it so you can just go back to here and then just so you can restart again, which I think might solve the issue with the, 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 the impulse not being applied to the bullet, but we'll see. Okay, so one thing we're gonna have to do is create a script for the on button press. So I'll do that now and I'll uh, just talk over what I'm doing, I suppose. Uh, close off. Okay, so button. I'm going to add a script on this button and I'll call it start uh, start button, basically. Okay, we'll go to edit. So, like we did before, we're going to add uh, um, attributes of the scene ID because we want to make, basically make it so that it goes to the ID of the other scene which we created, which is level one. So, we will have to enter that. Um, and then we're going to add. A, uh, on the initialize we're going to add these so this entity element on a mouse enter this basically is a bunch of detecting from mouse events in relation to this button we can also add touch events to which I'll add anyway even though it's not really that relevant for our because this is made to work with PCs in the minute but that would be for mobile support Touch start, touch end. It's basically for mobile devices. Okay, and then we're just using that code we used before, which I'll briefly talk about, I guess. So I'm just copying and pasting it for ease of speed. Old hierarchy is just like the hierarchy of the, the entire scene. Destroy this. And then load the next scene basically is all they're saying. Old hierarchy destroy this load scene. Yada yada yada. Now that should work. So if I save that, I get past this. I get my scene ID. Let's find go to the other scene, which is level one. And the scene ID for this is 1028, blah blah blah. Uh, go here, uh, go to back to my menu. Now we've got that copied. Go to the button. We'll find the script. We'll find the script, whichever one works. To scene ID. So I've added the scene there. Now let's just try it. Now I should be able to click and play. Oh, that's it worked. So there we go. Now I'm in game. So I'm in the game, good, 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 good. So next thing we want to do is get this, because we basically want it so it returns back to this screen instead of the level one when you die. So I need to find I think it's player, isn't it? Where did I put it again? Where did I put it again? And just get my head to, oh, there we go, scene ID to load, just put it there instead. So then now it should return back to the main menu when I die. So let's get killed. 
basically. And then it should just return me to the main menu instead. Then I'll see if I can go through the loop, which hopefully will work. So my health's at 44 now. Oh no, my health's at minus, that's not good. Why am I not? Strange, something must have gone on there. It should, uh... that's weird. Hmm, okay. Unless I accidentally. Yeah. Possibly I need to open the first scene first. I can't, well, I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. Bear with me, I'll just check this. So now I should go into the. Yeah, on the first level, good. Just get killed. There we go, yeah, good. Okay, we've got another problem now. Forward of null. So after much gnashing of teeth, I just figured out uh, how to get that to work properly. Basically what was happening was the um, uh, event listener for mouse down wasn't being removed, which fires the shoot event. So I had to add the following. Uh, I'm sorry this, this is a little hard to follow. It took me a while to figure out how to exactly to fix this. So I'll just try and explain it now. So we have our initialize, which initializes the script. What I've added here is, this is all here for before, but I've added destroy mouse event. And the wording of this is important as well. So this basically what's happening before is we were calling the old scene hierarchy to get destroyed. But it wasn't removing the listener for some reason. I, I didn't exactly know how to do this, but basically you add this function on destroy. This on destroy, uh, this mouse down event, the Windows remove event listener mouse down. Now, uh, it presents another problem actually because it means on root of the menu I have to re add it again, but it should be. Mm, should be fixable. Um, and that's all that's new about that. I was a bit confused by that, but I managed to fix it now. Uh, but anyway, so let's just add, so just so you know, again, to repeat which part I've added here. So if you're looking through this code and you want to figure it out, it's just this here, which is solving that particular issue, which is actually quite a headache. It's literally taking me about. I think at least 40 minutes to figure out what's going on there. Okay, so I guess let's go to... Uh, go to yeah, we're in our scene here, main menu scene. And I'll just add a new one called... New script called init menu. And when that's initialized, just add uh, the mouse. We add the mouse again, I think that's, that will work. So if I get this, then we add the these listeners. I think I can just add those two. I think. Yeah, let's just see if that works. So you'll, this will either work or not much, but you basically you'll see what, uh, a lot of the time, I, know, I was actually literally scratching my head for 10 minutes about this again. There we go. So that, well, it seems to work on the actual loading, so we'll go in here. Let's just get killed really as fast as I can. Let's get killed. Q. 
Kill me. Kill me, my friend. Kill me. Kill me again. Okay. No, it didn't work because the might I now have to press escape to get it to. So that's the problem actually, so I'll just let me just give it a revisit this. So it was basically the So I can go around to the loop oh that seemed to work. What? What yo? I better check that because it seemed to work that time. I mean, it sort of does work because you can press escape, but that's not really, uh, not really good enough. Because you don't have to press escape. It's just a st stupid. Yeah, but it seems like sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, be some annoying thing, I guess. So I think I might need to add the old Haraki destroy in the load scene, just from the example I was looking at. So the possibly that's what we've done wrong there. I guess, hopefully. Be nice if it works now. I think we'll leave that for now. It's sort of a little bit of a I don't know if you call it a bug, but it's a bit annoying, but anyway. I think finally let's just uh, wrap up some of this. I want to get these enemies, I want to do a bit of game testing and sort of just duplicate these enemies. I want to test that that works sort of in a way. I want to test the gameplay and then I'll probably leave it for now. Obviously like I said in the other episodes you can improve the movement scripts. So if anybody wants to challenge, obviously work on improving the movement, which is quite strange at times. So I've added five enemies now. Let's just see what happens when I have five enemies in the environment, which makes it shoot. And I'll try and actually shoot them too. I might add a health as well. Then we'll have these bullets coming from. Where are they? Oh, they're all underneath me. I need to raise them all up for me, so. oh, Sound effects are quite horrible actually. Because I've got this generated terrain, it's quite hard to tell where everything is. Yeah. But. That's sort of okay. Where are you? I think someone's bogged out there because someone's going crazy somewhere. Okay, let's add a health pack or something. So what this would be is just on a contact. Uh, increase health. So let's add a new entity. Box, make it green. Uh, not call it box. Health pack. I think I've already got a green, uh, yeah. Put it above somewhere, make it probably a bit smaller. This will be basically one wire, two. Not oh, no, let's get off position. So that eight. So that eight. Um. 
Oh no, no. 15, I want to add it. Of course, collision, rigid body, all that sort of thing. We have it full down. It's quite static. Maybe dynamic actually, just to give it, make it a bit more interesting. So you can, the health packs can get shot around, I suppose. But it's movement. <laughs> but it's just because it's how I know to do it. So if I add uh, this, and then if I just do an if event, if it equals health of a tag. So basically, if I add the tag for it called health pack, which should pick up anything with the health pack tag. I don't need this to find again. Um, Okay, I don't need that again. Okay, so if we're adding the um, health pack, I've, not, I've made it so basically you can just go return back to it for now. So the code for that is just if result of a rigid body and result of a tag has health pack, we're giving it a tag of health pack. Then Basically, well, this is a ternary operator, so it's saying if this app elf is less than or equal to 100, because you don't want it to go over 100, though at the minute it's not perfect, so it goes over a bit sometimes. This app health plus 20, or this app health plus zero. So it's a bit basic, but and the implementation is not the best, but that does give you this which is basically a rechargeable health unit that you can go over to to recharge your health so if i just demonstrate that so i'm getting here i'm getting here i'm getting hit go here there we go 112 now and then if, but i can't go over that now so i could put into i can go back here recharge my health ding Gonna see if I should remove one thing on here. Remove Z. Just curious to see if this improves the movement or messes it up. Help it. Yeah, I know what it is. That, that random Z, I didn't need that there at all. So I think um, they're going a bit too far away now. Why do they go off into this guy's over here? Just playing it now, trying to get it's a lot of polishing and I'm gonna get some uh, help for still. So we're doing more but more testing, just this. See how things are. Got one, got one. Got two. The movement's a bit more. They still go off way too far though. I need to try and mod that a bit. Five seconds, maybe want to make it a bit longer. I'm going to try eight. To play around. Hopefully that'll give us a bit more of a. 
for eight seconds is one, two, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they shifted again. Yeah, good. And they shifted. Now they're going crazy. Look, this one here went crazy anyway. Odd that they're not firing off the. It seems like some of them don't fire off the turning bit. The movement, I mean, the movement in general needs probably a complete rethink, I guess. Let's just try. a build of this I'll try and play it on play canvas itself so what I should see menu should come up should be able to click on the start button should be able to shoot enemies enemy movement shouldn't be too insane uh, I should get health once I go on the click when I go onto the green box when I die the game should reset uh, last thing I probably want to do is do an end game condition for if all the enemies are killed but I'll leave on to that just off the test of this, I guess. And then I think I'll wrap this project up because it's, it's really quite long. Ah, what can I need to fill? Okay, that's a bit weird. That's a seems to be a bug. I think because the terrain is randomly generated, it does that sometimes. I'll, I'll basically spawn into a hill. So. I probably need to spawn the player a bit higher, I guess. Just in case. This doesn't seem to always happen, but it seems to sometimes happen. Did I get uh, basically uh, spawn into a hill or something, I guess. So I need to fix that bug. That's better. See how it didn't happen that time. Ah, why do they sometimes do that? They just go off into infinity. I'm gonna just observe this behavior because I'm just curious as to why it's even happening. It's so weird. They just seem to sometimes get stuck and then drift infinitely off. Even the horizon there looks like they just drifted off. That's a bug, really. So I've got to try and fix that. Got you, you bastard. I realise that now I'm doing a lot of game testing and it's probably quite boring, but this is essential. And a lot of the tweaking part is just doing this, where you're like sort of looking at existing things, tweaking it here and there. And uh, yeah, that's actually just the reality of the thing, I guess. So I apologise if this is a little boring but uh it's worth watching i suppose okay so uh, i think i want to create um a ah yeah i want to create uh enemy so i'm just going to do this as a variable so this is what one two three four five six enemies in the game. I'll leave it at that. What I want to do is I'm going to create a variable here called enemy which is in the root remember. Bar enemy. Probably a better way of doing this would be to like do a I don't know, has tag and then do something like length. 
I guess, but I'm just going to do it this way for now. Enemy amount. We'll call it enemy amount. Because it's not 100, it's 6. Uh, oh, not dot. It's not. Enemy amount. Sign at the value of 6. I'll log it just so I can see it. That it's worked. And then every time an enemy is destroyed, just uh, reduce that value by one. And then I'll have a check to see if uh, um, so, do, 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 do. so this app enemy health. So Oh yeah, self destroy this up. Enemy amount, that's the one. Minus 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 to reduce it uh, to reduce it by one. And then I'll save that. And then I also need to check for if uh, enemy count equals zero. I could probably, I think, add it here because I wanted to do basically the same thing. I think that's kosher to do that. That uh, symbol there just means uh, or. It's a shorthand for or. Uh, can I do that? Oh, uh, I need to make zero. So I think. That might work because I might I can I think I can do that. I'm pretty sure. So uh, let's just try both scenarios. So try I'll try killing all the enemies. Do that first. If I can kill them all. So what I should do once I've killed them all is reset the level. Not wandering off, they're wandering off still a bit. Come on guys, don't wander into infinity. Yeah, that movement's broken again for some reason. So odd that that happens. Wait a sec, I'll just reset it. I need to, I need to get a handle on that as well afterwards, just to fine tweak. The first one is to see if this is two left, one left. So no, that didn't work. Oh no, it's one left as well. That of the wits here. Come on, I need to test if you... Ah, I'm dying. You're beating me. Sorry. Slow down. Ah, he's gone underground. And so have I now. <laughs> There's clearly a lot of bugs here I need to... And lots of things I need to solve. Oh, this is a, clearly a bug. Sometimes they just go off into infinity and the cycle breaks. Uh...
Come on, you should be dying. I'll try and set movement in its own uh, function, possibly. I'm not sure if that is having an effect. So if I do enemy dot prototype. <laughs> So this dot movement. So call that every oh yeah. And I'm gonna have to add this as well here. Probably, well, in fact, no, yeah, no, it's still date there. It's still date. This may well crash. I just want to test it out. I might just delete this as well if it doesn't work. Okay. Enemy is not defined. Okay, no, it's Mr. This entity, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, anything with this. Ta okay, same mission again. Let's just get this. Disclaimer I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> It's just shooting infinitely. I'm just messing now, really, to be honest. I know this is highly tutorial, but. <laughs> that just seems better. But it still seems quite random, it's like if I'm... So, uh, I mean, I think I can... There's, I'm sure there's a better way to work out the distance from. You see, it sort of seems better that way now. Like it's basically just saying. Let's restart. Let's go to level. The movements seem to be better now, actually. They seem to not be so random, but they still seem quite random. Still need to check. I don't know. I think I'll leave it at that for now. I could fiddle with this for hours and hours more, but I think it's going to be enjoyable to watch this tutorial, in all honesty.
contact events seem quite random as well. Okay. We've gone over a few things in this one. I'm gonna severe I'm gonna cut it down quite a lot there to try and get it more viewable. Um, health packet covered that. Basically tweaking bits and bobs here and there. So this is mostly just a tweaking episode, like I said. Um, have us been useful and just uh, I think this will probably be the last one I do on this series because the rest of it is essentially would be if I was working on this more, would be improving the scripts, debugging, but the core stuff's in place. Uh, so I think I've mentioned this a few times, but if you want to improve this, then please feel free to. There's a lot to be improved, a lot of movement. Getting rid of those bugs, like I said before. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorials. I know they've been quite well received so far so that's good um, let me know if you want to see more also um, if you have any ideas for any other tutorials you'd like to see on play canvas a frame general web dev or game dev let me know and i'll try and do my best to provide a decent uh, overview of that whatever it is i've been honored like subscribe and uh, yeah in a bit